Alright, so in this video we're going to find the unit vector. Um, now, what do we mean by the unit vector? Well, this is a vector, okay, and it's a vector, it has a magnitude and it has a direction. Now, this vector, the magnitude might be, I don't know, 11 or something like that. So it might be 11 units long, this particular one. The unit vector is simply a scaled down version of the same vector. But the magnitude of this vector is 1. That's why it's called a unit vector, a single unit. Okay, so it's got the same direction, same direction, but this is the unit vector because we've scaled it right back. And if you want to scale something down, if something's 11 units long and you want to turn it into 1 unit long, you divide it by 11. Divide it by its magnitude. So that's pretty much how we're going to get our unit vector. Now, a little bit of notation. If this was vector u, then this unit vector is shown with a little hat on it. That means unit vector of u. That's vector u. That's the unit vector of vector u. So, uh, let's do it. So, we don't have to do this every time, but I'm going to do it here. I'm going to visualize this vector. It's 6i, so it's 6 units across here, like that. And it's 3j, it's 3 units up there like that. So this is the vector that we're looking at. And uh, I'm not going to do the Pythagoras right now, but it's 6 units across, it's 3 units up. So the magnitude is probably about 7 point something or 8 point something. That's about how long it is. And what we want to do is find a scaled down version that moves in the same direction but only has a unit of, uh, only has a magnitude of 1. Now the way that we're going to do that and the way that the sort of general rule, I suppose, is to say that the unit vector of u is equal to the vector u divided by the magnitude of vector u. So, first step to finding the unit vector is finding the magnitude and then dividing it by the actual, actual vector itself. Uh, now, we can do all of that in a single step. I probably don't need that. Oh, let's leave it there. Okay. So, vector u is equal to 6i plus 3j. And we're going to divide it by the magnitude of vector u. And the magnitude of vector u is the square root of um, 6 squared plus uh, 3 squared. So uh, that's going to be a number, 36 plus 9, square root of 45. And all of that work that you did on um, thirds will tell you that square root of 45 is the same as 3 root 5. So I can now say that, um, well, I should be using a little hat there. The unit vector of u is equal to 6i plus 3j on 3 root 5. Generally, we like to express it a little more like this. 6 over 3 root 5 i plus 3 over 3 root 5 j. That has the added uh, bonus of allowing us to sort of simplify a little bit of stuff. Um, we'll have 2 over root 5 there i uh, plus 1 over root 5 j there. Mm, do I want to rationalize denominators? Sure, why not? Um, so it's going to be 5 on 2 root 5 i plus root 5 on 5 j. Okay, now, don't forget why we've done all of this. We had a vector that was that long, and we wanted to scale it down and come up with a unit vector, a vector that is simply one unit long, and that is our unit vector. Why do we do it? Well, I'll tell you about that another time. For now, that's what we're doing. We're scaling down a vector. Should correct myself. We're scaling a vector because if the vector was shorter than one, say a half or a quarter or something like that, then of course we'd be scaling it up 
to a unit vector. So we can scale ones down, which is what usually happens, um, but if it's less than that, we can scale it up as well.